What is this? Are you even serious? Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. Rusev, why you gotta be like that, man? Why do you have to hate on Aiden English Day? You know, not every day has to be Rusev Day. It's gotta be sometimes Nia Jax Day or maybe Rollins Day or AJ Day. Today, we're gonna, you know what? We'll make it Aiden English Day. Out of favor, out of the kindness of my own heart, that's what I'm gonna do for you today, sir. And we'll also take a look at Nia Jax and the variant. Here's the last... Two characters, well, technically three, because we got the variant right here. Got we already reviewed Rhonda and the big dog and Eric Young and also wait, Rusev. Rusev, you already here. <laughs> we'll do a full review. Uh, we'll do a recap on the full set, you guys. That's the thing I like to do. I like to bring once we've gotten them all out of the box and gotten a chance to take a closer look at it. I like to find out which one really stood out because when someone puts out a full wave of these figures it's gonna it means one thing it means which one is gonna be the one that's gonna be the one now the accessories so you can see he's coming with the glasses the interchangeable hands too close fisted on the hands that are on the figure itself this is like special in its own way it's not like shinsuke nakamura like the hands that nakamura had this is more of like an aiden english look like he's holding his cup of tea and he's saying it's aiden english day you know it was gonna happen <laughs> you knew that it was gonna eventually happen on the video before I take this all off, because as you can see, he's coming with some cloth goods. He's coming with a rope. It's not a rope here, fix. It's more like a towel. It's not a towel, man. It is a scarf. There it is with the glasses. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can do WHF reviews. <laughs> Once he take this towel off right here, this actually... I gotta, I, we gotta look at the towel right here. Oh, it's not a towel, Hero Figs. It is a scarf. Why can you not get it right? By the way, go pick these up, you guys. The full series. They're all up at Ringside Collectibles. Discount code here will save you 10%, not only on the scarf, but on the full figure. <laughs> Right here, the design, as you can see, it's all on the actual, like, the front part, not the back. There's nothing to the back right here, and it is vice versa on the actual variant right here. Once you take that off, you're getting those cloth goods. I know you were upset. You were saying, where is our fabric? There it is, man. On the fabric piece, I know it's hard to pick up on the camera, but it actually has, like, kind of like that Balor style, right, where you can put it up. You can have it up. You can have it down. Did you get out of the shower? Have you been wearing it all day? Have you gotten out of the house? Nope. <laughs> there you go. Well, at least part of it. Part, like, at least by the neck area, you can put it up. And what's, what's bringing it all together, it's a Velcro piece. On the front right here, it has a cutoff. It's got a cutoff right by the waistline, and then towards the bottom, it continues all the way through the back, and it's divided right there in the middle. So it's a nice little piece, dude. It's a very nice Aiden English piece. It's these hands, dude. Like, that's kind of like, when he starts to sing, when he sings all of that beautiful music that comes out of those vocal cords, that's why he comes with the microphone. If you were wondering why Aiden English is coming with the microphone, he's got to go like this. <coughs> Excuse me, right? <laughs> Once you take it off, let's take it off because I think the basic that we got was it series 91, 92, or was it 93? I can't read my round to go back. There's so many basics, man. So many basics, and he was releasing the basic with this updated head skin right there. This is like true Aiden English right there. This, if you wonder, if you were ever, if you ever wondered what an English Aiden English day looked like. Right there, my friends. You're getting the very pale. The man hasn't gone tanning in well over 300, at, at least over a year, dude. You know, and sometimes it's the luck of the Irish. Is he Irish? I don't think he's Irish. On the waist right here, he's got the belt. He's got the uh, buckles right there that kind of brings it towards the middle. And that's really, when it comes to the tights, that's really all about it. At least as far as the original. On the boots right here, we're getting a silver outline on the left and right on this one right here, he's English, he'll fix, he's not British. Right here, on this one, this is the one that you're going to see more of the actual design to the actual tights. The tights is what's going to distinguish this figure from the original. Now, once we pop that out right here, let's get these glasses out. Same glasses, same hands, same cape. Well, not, not the scarf, because the scarf, as you can see on this one, on the one that we got with the original, it's got more of a design to it. This is just a solid black. So they kind of 
you know, went across the board to make sure that they covered the actual figure. Like, if we're going to throw a design to the tights, we got to make sure that we take away from the scarf. That's how he wore it, so I can't take anything away from that. But once you take off this right here, same jacket too. Same entrance jacket, by the way. Once you take that right there, you're getting that famous artwork. I can't remember the name of that, you know, the person that drew that. But that's like a really popular, like when it comes to art, anybody that knows art knows that screaming face right there. And it's only partial. It's only it's only about half of the actual tights. It's divided right there in the middle. And as you can see the rest, it's all black. Same boots right there. Same scan. Great figure. I think for me, this has to be, I think the variant, now that I look at it more, now that I see that they actually added more towards the tights, I think the variant is doing it more for me. Now for Nia Jax right here, Let's get Naya out, cause Naya, she's the one that she went. She went to go knock it. You guys know? Does anybody know Al Snow? Who remembers Al Snow? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Here's Naya Jax right here. She went to go knock at his door, and she said, "Yo, Al, you got any more of those extras? Extra what's Naya? What are you talking about? Oh, bro, I thought you got that whole uh, head gimmick, right? What does everybody want? Who remembers that? Who remembers that Al Snow gimmick? It was way back. I'm talking about back in the 98 days. So if you're not familiar with that, that's all right, man. That's a little retro hero fix for you. This is what I'm talking about. It's the head scans. She is coming with head on top of head. And you can't like necessarily place it on top. You got to remove it. You got to obviously remove it because it is interchangeable. The one right here on this side right here, this is with the hair down. And this one on the left side, this is with the dreads. Which one's my favorite? Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and play around with it, and I'll give you my overall thoughts on it. Nia Jax right here, once you get her all out, once she's finally set free and able to get all of her head scans interchanged, she'll be able to tell the WHF universe which one is her favorite. On the shoulders right there, they're all sculpted, kind of like her previous elites, except we're getting a really nice purple and like a silver design going all the way around it the chest piece this is all sculpted right here on the abdominal area i, I want to go over the articulation real quick with you because this is the first time that we've seen nia in the elite she really can't crunch forward all that much or go back you know like there's nothing special about the ab crunch the arms right here they go this far out this far forward, that far back. You got the upper uh, bicep swivel. We're getting a single hinge on the elbows. The wrist right here, these are not interchangeable. I know you've gotten used to with all these elites having interchangeable hands. But for Naya, it's going to be the interchangeable hands. The waist right here, we are getting, is it a 360? You know what? This, I don't know if mine is completely glued. There you go. I see what's going on. You see these little side things right here that we're seeing on the side of her shirt. This is kind of hindering the articulation. But it will still go a whole full 360 degrees this is also an additional piece from the actual tights themselves so this is like its own piece itself on the lower half right here we're getting a single hinge uh knee right there we are getting the upper or yeah the calf rotation right there and boots go that much forward that much back upper thigh swivel almost forgot to mention that but you're not going to get all that much because of the size of the figure i do like the tights too you see how it kind of has like that see-through skin this is not sculpted this is all just painted all the sculpt work that you're seeing on the figure it's going to be from the waist up now once you pop the head up before i do i'll show you this one right here i think this is the very first one that we had gotten for nia Jax and the wave from the basic line except again true fx 3d print once you pop it off how difficult pretty easy this is this might have to be my favorite it's so different it's so unique in and of its own way now it was a lot easier to pop it off than it was to pop there you go you really got to like fight that in order to get that head scan on there once you do you can see those dreads going all the way down by the waistline like these dreads they are a serious thing like it's nothing to be playing around with on the back right there we're getting the the back of the dreads continue throughout as well as on the side she's got some on the right and left right there now this one i think this was introduced in the battle pack that we'd gotten with her and i think it was was it alexa bliss i think it was alexa bliss i think she had kind of like the side hair right there she also had an individual basic that had the same style of hair I'm telling you this is a struggle this is a fight to get it on 
once you do right there, this is more of like the, the serious Nia Jax look. I think this one has got to be my favorite. Now, we're going to do, we're going to bring in the, the rest of the squad. We're going to bring in the rest of the wave. And I want to give you my thoughts. My number one for sure, it's got to be Eric Young. That jacket, the design on the tights, those boots, <laughs> those kick pads right there. Just a solid. This one broke the WHF Richter scale. Number one. No doubt. Number two, it's going to be Rusev Day. Rusev Day just came. He conquered. He came with the key. He came to the with the WHF. He came with the key to WHF's heart. <laughs> number two. Number three, I got to give it to Ronda. Even though it wasn't the in-ring attire, it was nice to see her in the first, you know, first time in the line in the, in the elite wave. Next up, I got to give it to my guy, Roman Reigns right here. Number four for sure. It came with the IC title. came with the red. You guys know how much I love red. And if you don't know, you're about to know. Next up, I'm going to give it to Nia Jax. All those interchangeable heads right there. Just a really nice extra, man. We got used to all those hands. Now it's time that Mattel had introduced something slightly different. Number Last but not least, I'm going to give it to the variant. I like the design that they did with the tights. And last, right here for sure, it's going to be the original Aiden Inglis. It's just a very plain, bland attire. Nothing special to really make it be like, whoa, that Aiden English, man, it's the variant for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.